since Verat is a UNESCO World Heritage Site, it only makes sense to stay in a 300-year-old guest house, which overlooks the old section of the city. They will make sure you are very well fed. Scatter my ashes in front of this restaurant, please. Hi, we're Darren and Stephanie, and if you're new to this series, we're on a two-week guided tour through Albania and the Balkans. Our first week was a jam-packed ride through four countries, featuring time in the gorgeous outdoors of northern Albania and Montenegro, an epic boat journey, expansive views over Kosovo, one day in colorful and changing Tirana, and incredible scenery at stunning Lake Ovrin. Our second week was all about southern Albania, starting with just one of the country's key historical cities. Good afternoon from Barat, Albania. We left the Albanian coast of Lake Ored this morning and drove for a few hours to another UNESCO World Heritage Site. Yes, today we're in the ancient city of Birat. <laughs> it dates back more than 2,000 years and it houses more than 20 churches. Before we set off to see the castle district, we grabbed lunch at a traditional and historic restaurant. The restaurant itself is housed in a 600, 700 year old house and uh, the food matches its history. He is saying that I bring it everything like this because it's not to use a thousand plates. I don't know what we have tried till now, but he's saying I'm sure that this is gonna be the most tasty till now. <laughs> I don't know where to start. This is pie with spinach mm. and rice. This is with cheese and milk, lamb, chicken. So now that we are super well fed, we are about to walk all over this castle on a hill and see why exactly it is a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Let's go. Barat's story dates back more than 2,000 years, although the damaged castle you see today came from the 13th century onward, when the area experienced its rise in Byzantine Christian tradition and art. So our first stop is one of the many churches here of Barat. This cathedral is known for its paintings inside, the icons which were painted by an important Albanian painter, Anufri. His icons inside actually have a red paint that is still vibrant, and no one knows how or why he got that red paint to stay so vibrant. Looking at the hills outside of Barat, we're told that if you look closely at the hills now, you can read the word never. During communism times, it actually said Inver, which was the name of the dictator. The townspeople made an executive decision to change from Inver to never, meaning never again. A community of people still live inside the castle district today. And even though many parts are more in a state of ruin, oh. Yeah, no, you totally fall in. Darren, you gotta come see. <laughs> this can't be safe. <laughs> if you fall down the stairs, you'll die. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Hear the mice? Yes. It's an impressive and many times beautiful fortress. There's flowers everywhere. With incredible views of the surrounding valley and mountains everywhere you look. Now that we've explored the fortress, we're getting ready to head down to the lower level of the town. Barat was long a city home to a thriving merchant class, and you can see those lasting impressions in the 16th century style homes overlooking the river. These decorated stone and tile homes sit in steep neighborhoods, seemingly stacked on top of each other. Little did we know we'd soon be getting an up close experience. Since Barat is a UNESCO World Heritage Site, it only makes sense to stay in a house that it's culturally protected by the government. Our tour company, Choose Balkans, has surprised us with a 300-year-old guest house, which overlooks the old section of the city. You guys need to check this out. So you have a traditional bedroom that we will be staying in. You've got a traditional style kitchen, showing what life was like 300 years ago and a little bit of today. If you need a place to relax, you can sit down and enjoy the view. The house even features some original ceilings that again are 300 years old. We saw a house kind of like this in Kruja, but I didn't think we'd be staying in one. We have now put our bags down at Guest House and Nye, and we're getting ready to go explore more of the old city. The old neighborhoods, along with most of the major sites in Barat, can be seen in about a day. And other than a lot of up and down on cobblestones, I don't know if my bag's gonna fit. It's an interesting layout for the old town. Our 
suitcases this way. The historic part of the city is easy to walk and explore. It's really the best way to leave any crowds behind and find the interesting and quiet places. We're here in Barat in May, and there are probably more people here than we've seen in any other place we've been so far in Albania, Kosovo, or Macedonia. Uh, actually, Lake Oerd was a little bit busy, but not quite like this. Anyway, our guide says that in the middle of summer, 20,000 people per day pass through the gates of the castle. So I would definitely recommend coming on the shoulder seasons if you like to avoid crowds. Maybe May, maybe September, something like that. Barat's main street is lively and lined with shops and restaurants. But cross over the river to get a broader view of the historic city. Barat is known as a city with 1,001 windows. I'm not going to count them all, but our guest house is somewhere in there below the fortress. It's hard to pick out. It's also a perfect spot to take in a sunset. Then I won't let you go, put your arms around me and I'll let you know how it feels when time goes slow. And I won't let it rush when I see you dance and the moment comes when I fall and time goes slow. There are more beautiful homes to explore on this side we used our evening walk here to work up an appetite for a late dinner, which may be the most important tip for traveling in Albania. Almost every meal was served by someone who was incredibly welcoming and wanted to show you that hospitality by bringing you course after course after course of homemade food. Mm -hmm. oh, I'm a, I'm a way to sit. We came back to the same restaurant, a new free that we ate at lunch or dinner and had completely different things except for a few items. And this may have been one of the best meals that we've had on the trip, although we've said that about the past three nights or so. Normally when I'm this gorged, I would say I need a vegetable, but I've had vegetables every day for seven days. It just comes with 17 animals every time. All I know is that I'm not sure I'm going to be able to walk back up to our guest house. I'm dead. Scatter my ashes in front of this restaurant, please. Yeah. <sighs> well, we just got back from dinner and we are stuffed. We're both expecting food babies. <laughs> I don't, I don't know how to describe that meal tonight. Our guy called ahead a couple hours and said, can you make us something different than what we had at lunch? And they went all out. I'm sick, so I say let's wrap this up. <laughs> Tomorrow we're headed to the coast to get our first glimpse at the Albanian Riviera. Should be, just like every other day, amazing. So, <laughs> Our guest house is going to be cooking breakfast for us at 8 o'clock. And here in the traditional house, I imagine that that is also going to be quite an interesting experience with a lot of food. And our guide said once we get to the coast, we're going to go eat at a fish place that would be a great place to die. So <laughs> I think we're in for a lot more good food. Yep. Well, as always, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and click the bell to be the first to know when we post new videos. Thanks for watching. Good night from Barat. We'll see you tomorrow in Valora. Good night. We can look back someday.